Before this video starts, I just wanted to let you know that I've got a new t-shirt design. They're available in various different colours and sizes, and there's even mugs. I'll leave a link to where you can buy them in the description below. Right, on with the video. Good morning, and welcome back to my journey attempting to cross Latvia on my unicycle along the Baltic Forest Trail. It is day 15 of riding, and I'm currently camped out with Sylvain in a forest. We're riding together for the next few days. Compared to the last couple of days, I think today is pretty much fully on roads, uh, so there's no real trail action, which is a good and a bad thing. It's fun to ride on the trail, but it's also nice to know that we can make a bit of distance today. And I think especially for, for Sylvan and his uh, much bigger unicycle, he'll be looking forward to, to getting on the roads. Right, let's get up and see what's going on outside. Good morning. Yeah, ready to rock. I think today is a new stock day, so I'm going to replace these ones with these lovely fresh ones. Well, well, fresh enough. I've been sleeping in these, but, you know, they haven't seen the stinky boots yet. They smell very dangerous. But, you know, when you think about new socks day, it reminded me like some juggler's friends who were hiking. And one day was like, look, 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 finally I managed to do the trick. And he get his socks, hold it put it on his nose and the socks was so crispy that he could balance it on his nose. <laughs> Those are some slightly dodgy mounts from both of us, but we got there. <laughs> yeah! And now we're pushing to a place called Kandava. And we're gonna see what's here. We're hoping there's a shop, because we need food. We've spotted a, a Citro. That might be our shop. Shopping was the pretty standard haul of veg, bread, and buckwheat. And I also picked up this thing, which I didn't recognise, but was keen to cook that night. I've been looking for peanut butter all trip, but I don't like carrying glass. This is the first one I've found that's in plastic. Oh, it's a good combination. As well as food, I also took the opportunity to fill up my stove's petrol bottle. 0 0.2 litres for 35 cents. And is there anything we should uh, we should look at yeah. while we're here? I'll say it's an old uh, castle. Uh, so that's the miniature yep. that we yep. see over there. Yeah. That was just a small there? replica of yep. what used to be the big castle here. And what else there is? Uh, only in center. School is a little bit. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. It's no. small. Yeah. Small. Yeah, small size. Well, it's cute. It's a cute village, actually. I really like the ways that uh, I find like. Uh, in Latvia, at a small village, you really feel like there is an effort yeah, to... Yeah, in Latvia, uh, we have... To we make... We don't uh, have uh, nice many food. people <laughs> in Latvia. Oh, put a, Maybe yeah. in, at this moment, we are in Latvia. Hey. One and a half million. Small country. Uh, Latvians go working more. to England, like uh, everywhere in the world. Thank, Take you. Care. Thank you so much. Have a lovely <laughs> day. We had a little wander around the old castle ruins of Kandava, then pushed onwards down the trail. I've never really experienced the, the Baltic kind of countries before I came here. I'm very glad that I decided to do a tour in Latvia and a great time of year to come as well. 
for the record, I'm, I'm here for pretty much the whole of September. So I arrived right at the start and now it's like the 18th maybe? Damn, you just lose track of time. The dates don't really matter. Soon we're gonna stop for some food because uh, for breakfast I just had a banana and some peanut butter. But that was it. Is that some underwear? Local uh, Latvian attraction. Yeah, even pinpoint and Google Map. <laughs> we found a rock, so we're sitting on the rock and we're eating lunch on the rock. Because we rock! <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, back on it. Yeah, it was a good break, that. I think we both needed a bit of a chill, have a bit of food, chill out in the sun. Uh, we've got no real plan of where we're going to camp tonight. Uh, but it's only like half three. So we got time and we're just gonna keep riding and see see where the road takes us. I think pretty much every single farmer that I've waved to on this trip has waved back. You sort of see them by the side of the road in the field and their tractor and they're just like, eh! Or there's like the double thumbs up as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, for me, what I love is like, hey, do a free hand, it's like, free hands too. <laughs> Yeah. It's still slightly challenging riding, like the road does vary in quality pretty drastically. Uh, but we can keep going, that's the main thing. Even if it's a little bit sort of rough, it's still very rideable for both of us. Take it easy. Yeah. Into the sun. This is the intersection we were going for, it is, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Tired? Yeah, that was good. I was good. I'm not so tired today, but that's good. That was a very nice ride. I really enjoyed it. I love that we could take like a, a lane each as well. That was that made it so fun that we could just be like beside each other. And and moreover, it felt like we both had the lane made for each other. I think your lane was a little bit more challenging. You had more mud, more stuff than yeah. mine. So it was both lanes were just at the level of our unicycle. Yeah, it was great. Right, we've come to a kind of intersection. We're thinking of stopping for the day. There's a river out that direction. I think we kind of have to walk through someone's driveway, but I, I, I think it'll be fine. Labraca. We're looking to to get sort of over here. Um, are we are we okay to walk down down this road, or is it is it no, private um, land? No, no. <laughs> uh, it's separate, private territory. No. Yes, we understand. Okay. Um, Lovely. <laughs> Каждого 2 евро. А, 2 евро, like, по-ласке? 2. Да. Да? С каждого. Да. И сейчас я могу пойти показать. Окей. Окей. Спасибо. До свидания. Не могу. Спасибо. Спасибо. I'm still not totally sure if it was asking for two euros for us to just go through the land or two euros for us to stay. So I never asked about staying. Oh, that's true, actually. So... Anyway, he didn't seem particularly friendly. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was more sort of like pulling out of a hand and just like... Yeah. Dva euro. Yeah, it's like, okay. Give me two euro. I don't even want, know why you want us to give you two euro. But... Nah. So I say we just move on, get away from whatever land he might own and try and find somewhere in some kind of unowned forest. You see, the game is always... To make the shot, put your phone in your pocket back before the road become too messy. <laughs> yeah, I play this game all the time. Yep. <laughs> on the it's, trail, it's even more important. It's even more challenging. Like sometimes on the trail, you end up just having your phone in your hand 
and you're like for like two three hundred meters you're trying to find like the the five meter of soft road you can just be up ah! <laughs> what's funny is like so few people are gonna understand that so yeah. few people are gonna understand that but that's such the yeah i, I can relate to that so hard <laughs> feel like there'll be somewhere soon that we can just push off this little this little unsealed road and, and just find a little patch of ground to, to camp on. So this is it. This is Chateau de Oulala et Pret. Da -da. I'm gonna put my tent there. And Sylvan's gonna put his hammock somewhere over there. A luxury hotel for the night. Mm. Mamma mia. Ma. <laughs> we even have some cheese. And some funky green vegetable, which we don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I forgot about this. Yeah, we'll chop it up and see. All right, cooking time. Uh, I've cut this thing in two and giving it a bit of a smell. It reminds me a bit of like a, like a Swede. So I guess we've got like a like a green swede. I'm sure someone knows what this thing's called. But anyway, it looked interesting in the supermarket, so I bought it. And now we're gonna eat it. We're even gonna eat it with our mouth. Yeah, I think we might have done a bit too much of the bug. <laughs> Just, just, just like a, a little, a little bit, a little bit. It's a, a verdict on the the green vegetable that I bought. Yeah, I mean it's it's quite pleasant. Got a bit of a got a bit of a chew to it. It tastes like nave, in French. Nave. Like, it's kind of reddish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty tasteless, really. Yeah, a little bit of bitter. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Not good. Not bad. Not crazy. Feel my stomach happy with that doesn't not as good as cheese for sure thank you very much for watching this video please do check out my new t-shirts if you want to see the next video in the series it's available right now on my patreon i'll leave a link to all that in the description goodbye